Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Enshrouded on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Check it out. We have made the candelabras. Yes. Yes, we made the bronze, the bronze tools. We have the bronze tools in today's stream. It is the 28th of February, so the stream was this morning. It should be up and ready to go. And then we've got um, our candle holder right there. Uh, we also made doo -doo -doo, some of the stone furniture. Uh, it was suggested by Terry in, during the stream that maybe this stuff would make really great outdoor kind of patio type stuff up there by um, Balthazar. And I thought, you know what? I bet it would. So we're probably going to put some of that up there. I got our rest buff up to 54 right now. I'm sure it goes higher than that. There's plenty of things we could do. These guys, of course, improve it. The, these bronze. Uh, we've got the uh, wall torch. And there was one other thing. What did I do? Uh, we did the books together. We put a bunch of books on the shelves. There was one more. Oh, the chandelier. The chandelier. The chandelier. The bronze chandelier. I made some bronze. I got the tools made. And we made some of the decorative stuff. But that is the chandelier. It's really pretty. I love the spikes coming down from it. It looks like, um, it looks like giant tacks with candles on top. With a sweet, sweet ring around the middle of it. But yeah, it looks like a tack. And then you got the nice pretty chain coming down and of course the clasp up on the ceiling. So that looks really good. I like it. It's, it's a good one. I think I want to actually put it, um, put that over here above us as well, above the throne. I think that'd be cool up there. It's not as much light. This is not as much light as the torch stand gives. The torch stand, uh, or the standing torch I should say, is much brighter than this is, I think. But... For the sake of having that stuff, it's pretty cool. It works pretty good. Oh, and today also, we did go out and find the... Uh, we finished up the blacksmith. We got his we got his tools. Let me show you what's going on upstairs. I just logged back on to do the episode for this uh, Wednesday afternoon. Uh, okay, we got the smithy tools right here. Boop. We got these guys right here. We picked those up. We went and found them. Uh, and so now we can do... Well, like like I said, we got the, the pick. We got the pick. We got the axe. Uh, this sword I got off the matron in the new area that we've been exploring a little bit in. We actually fought her before, but I got this sword off of her. Uh, we're using the same bow, the same wand. I replenished our potions. And we have stepped up to the uh, sugar cane. This is the sugar cane that's, uh, that's cooked. So I made that today as well. That way we've got a better, a better food right there. Now the other thing is, is I guess I should be using a strength. And I don't have a good strength food. I have a constitution food. Let's see, I'm number six. I need to go to my inventory. This is constitution. It was said that if I want to, this is extra health. Constitution's health. And I feel like I already have some of that. I've got health regeneration here. I feel like I could give this up for something that would give me strength. So that maybe I don't have to swing quite as many times. Maybe one less time. Maybe. Maybe. We discovered that this guy right here is broken at the moment. He needs to be repaired by the uh, developers. Uh, when you put him in your hand, um, your shield disappears. He doesn't show the shield, so if I go back to here and I put this in, you can see I got the shield. But the shield, for some reason, it makes shields invisible. So anyways, uh, we, we stopped using this guy here. Uh, did I, I guess I didn't stop using him. He's still on my hotbar, isn't he? Or did I put him there? I can't remember now. Anyways, we were going to trade him in. Uh, we do have this wand. We're using that still. I've made the bone arrows because they're a little bit uh, more powerful. It causes 17 damage. It's not as good as these guys right here, but I'm, I've got 14 on this. That's 18. I'm just going to stick with these for now, the copper ones, because the bronze ones, you know, it's tin and copper. Okay. Uh, what else did we do? Made some wisp potions. Worked on the farm a little bit, a little bit. The biggest deal today was going out and getting this right here. We did, we did well with getting this right here. Uh, we also found a letter for him. Got him his letter. He seemed very happy. Very, it was very sentimental to him for sure. Uh huh. And uh, he's got the new armor options in here as well. 
which is pretty cool. He's got the Mercenary set and the Guardian set. So there's two new sets in here that we could make with him. And they're both going to be better. Um, that Break was cool. Leg. Break a leg. But, but, I think the other thing I... What, what is it that I think I want? We've got the sword. There was something else I wanted to show you guys. Well, let's go up to the farm. Up at the farm, we managed to get a few things done there too. That were that's really beneficial. Uh, we we got wheat. We had one wheat grain that we found, one, but we were able to get the bone that we needed in order to uh, craft some uh, seedlings for it. So we made um, well, we've got some flour. We made flour with the grinder, with the uh, the mill down by the alchemist. Let's see. Okay, I've got 20 wheat seedlings right here. And we're making, you know, a few more each time. It's really sweet. You get 20 each time, so that's pretty awesome. Anyways, the wheat is what we use to make the flour. And then when we make the flour in the grinding wheel, we also get the... Or no, when we pick it, I'm sorry. When we harvest it, we also get the straw, which is used in the building and stuff. It's really awesome. I've also discovered that indigo is really important. It calls for it in several recipes. I'm going to do a little planting here as I warm up for today's uh, episode. Thank you for the support on the series. I appreciate it very much. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a really good time, as you can tell. Uh, boom. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Just like that. And... You see that it was blue there for a second, huh? That's okay. No big deal. There we go. All right. That's good enough. So I'm working on that. Oh, we made the scarecrow because we do have the straw now because we can get the straw. So we made a scarecrow and set him right there because, you know, I don't know. We could see him at the moment. We should probably have some kind of a pedestal for him or probably have him maybe out here in the garden, but... He's not there. Uh, after today, we're probably going to do a little more building. Today, today, one of the first things I want to do is go out and kind of test this, um, this new, these new tools and see how they do. So I'm going to do a little bit of grind. I think I'm going to go get some tin. And in terms of wood, I don't know what kind of wood I wanted to get. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I should probably, you know what, I should probably fool around in the rebel wood a little bit, but I, I do like the new biome because it's just got some, uh, it's got some good food items and we're working on getting our food, um, upgraded as well. Um, she has got a few more recipes now to her that we can actually take advantage of and we can do this guy right here now. Oh, I needed some salt. That's right. Let's go get some salt. Can I remember to get that between here and actually getting there? Let's see. Salt. Salt. I need to get salt. You can get eight. There we go. Salt. We're going to work on building in the next couple of episodes. I want to get Balthazar's place put together and I want to get our place kind of dug out and kind of mapped out. I moved our guys down here. Move them around a little bit so they're not quite all crammed up here in the cor Well, they are crammed up in the corner, actually. But, um, you know, I'll put her over here. Yeah, and her drying rack is right there. And we've got some stuff working in here. At least we did. We got some more thread. There we go. I think I'm going to put the straw in there as well. I think that's a good choice to put that there. I'm going to put this back down here, too. And I got a piece of metal on me. Perfect. I'll keep that with me just because. All right, let's go see. I could make some flour and I could make that bread. Okay. Let's go up here by... Let's go up by the way of Balthazar. We should have more flour cooking up over here. Oh, there's three more. Beautiful. It's not much yet, but you know, we're we're I'm working on getting it built up. 
and I can make flatbread. Now this is strength, right? Yeah, this is a, granting a lasting strength boost upon consumption. So what I want to see is if I boost my strength, am I using less stamina to be swinging my sword? And when I swing my sword, I should be getting, hopefully, uh, extra, extra damage. So maybe I won't have to do it quite as much. That's what I'm hoping. By replacing constitution with the strength. Then we have upgraded our drink, which is the tea, and then we have our our kind of our, our stamina boost, which is our sugar cane, which by the way looks amazing when it grows. All the plants so far are just really impressive. I love how they look in the farm, in the gardens. They're just very impressive. And then yeah, it's just and then I think the strength is probably gonna do us better than if we do the extra health, because our extra health is already in us with the armor we're wearing and things of that nature. So we'll see. We'll see. That's my hope. Uh, this is going to take a bit of a tick here, isn't it? Man, that's going to take a tick. All right. Um, hmm. How's our bread coming? Do we have any? Oh, there's two. All right, sweet. Awesome. So this will replace the meat. Plus four strength, plus 20 stamina, plus two endurance. This lasts for 40 minutes. That's a good long time. To constantly have your strength going. Stamina is for five. I wish that was. I wish this one was longer. What's a good one? The other one is popcorn. So this is the best stamina we have at the moment. Is this um, the sugar? Um, so there's that. Uh, did you have anything else for the? I, I need to see. Energy is what I call it, right? Energy. So yeah, she's only got the two recipes. The popcorn is seven. So this is, you know, a little bit longer. It's the same exact amount of time, but it's quite a bit more powerful. And the sugar cane isn't that hard to get a hold of. So I'm going to be switching that up. So those are our new foods right there. And then we've got the tea, which is um, our endurance. Health and that. The only other thing I thought about doing was uh, she's got the eggs, these boiled eggs. They are pretty, pretty handy too. They last for 40 minutes. So that's three health, three stamina, and two mana. So I thought that might not be a bad one to put in in exchange for the um, the first choice we have in our hot bar, the, the, the bread. Because that's 40 minutes. You eat one of those and it lasts for 40 minutes. That's a good long time, and it's really a very, you know, a triple whammy. But again, that's not giving me any strength. So I'm going to try this first, but I am considering using the eggs for that, because it does look like a like that might be a good thing. Oh, man. 100 miles a minute. What am I going to do today? Um... Well, I'm going to wait for this bread to cook, at least a few more of them, so we've got them in our inventory so we can try out our new food selections here. I should probably get some more teas made as well. Um, so yeah, there's a couple things i got to do, and then I'll come back and we will head out the door to go do something. That's so cool, it's tied to everything like that. I love that. Love that to death. That is really awesome. Okay, so we do... Oh, it's not over here, right? That's, yeah, that's just a bench. Okay, good. Whew, for a second, I thought I didn't know what I was doing. Um, it's not in there either. It's not. Okay, so where am I going to put a workbench here? I guess down here is probably the better place for it. Will you fit right in here? Uh, turn off X. There we go. Uh, not really, huh? Um, what about... Okay, what about here, though? Right under the eave here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work right there. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, do we have anything with a, with a straw? There's straw roof block. There it is. The straw roof block. Look at that. That looks pretty cool, huh? I, I like that one. And then there is a star. There's a tarred one, too. So I think they're both worth looking at. Um, I'm trying to think whose place we'd build out of that. We've got the hunter. We've got to do something for the hunter. I'm not quite sure what I want to put her in, but I feel like it should be outside and in front of the building. Or in front of the entire place. And we're going to put a staircase right there, too, so we don't do that anymore. 
Let's go and take a look at this place from the front real quick. I love looking at everything at, at night. I feel like we need something over here. And that's why I need to incorporate something with this. And it needs to stretch down just a little bit further and go up and just come up underneath this right here. Just up underneath here. And then somebody suggested trees and stuff like that. I agree. Trees and some shrubs and things like that growing around here would look really good. I may move this road. We may move it all together. Um, but uh, I, I like the idea of... Yeah, I like that idea. Of having, we need something over here. Right over here. The side of the mountain glows blue all the way up. You can see it from here nice and easy. It's really nice. I like that. Oh, the rooster crows. Moon's going down. All right, I'll be back. We're going to head out the door and go do uh, uh, a little adventuring and, and try out our, um, our new tools. I'm, I'm curious to see how they do for us. It's that guy. Rawr. Pew, pew. Get hit. Oh, you resisted that, huh? Well, let's see. Let's see. Perhaps I have another wand you'd like to try. This is electrical. Hope that said resisted as well. Fire? Yeah, it's always fire with these hairy dudes. Isn't it? He's like, ow! <laughs> I knew it was fire. I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to try out everything. Just having some fun. Killing some time. Wandering the... Oh, what's here? It's amazing how many times I can walk by something and then not see what's actually around. Uh, ooh, what's this here? What is this here? This is interesting. I don't think I... Yeah, I've never seen this. Um, what is this? Is this iron? How come I'm not getting anything with this? Obsidian ore. Ooh, really? Jesus, man. That's one. I didn't see a recipe open up, did you? There's another one. Wow, it takes a lot to get it. Bring your stamina. It's like Minecraft obsidian. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Mm, I think I got it. Yeah, I'm just getting a lot of limestone now. There's a little bit of this stuff here, but I don't... It's it's not really registering. Yeah, okay, so we got that. That's interesting. I would not gotten that before. Let's see. Obsidian, we picked up a whopping ten pieces, ladies and gentlemen. Ten pieces. Well, that's, that's where we come back for it, right? Uh, that's very close, and it's right on the direction where I was taking you guys to go show you something. Um, and we are heading the right direction still. Yes, we are. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's right over here. You guys probably already know about it. I think this is right. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, I went too far. I went too far. So we got our obsidian right over there, and we're right up here is the uh, this little mine. You got your typical stuff here uh, to bust up, but then there's some good. Like I said, there's two workbenches here. So you get your stuff. that strength oh hey hello there excuse me who he broke that workbench oh my god he broke the workbench oh. well that was the first workbench <laughs> so there's a second one up here this guy's a jerk 
Get up here. For some reason, he gets stuck here. That's exactly how I killed him last time, but I don't remember him shooting at me last time. So there's a workbench here as well. A repair station. But when you get up here, there is, uh... You know. Sorry, so dark. Oh! Oops. Uh, Torch, sorry. You know what? I've got wisps. Let me get this out of my inventory. Let me get this in here. Let's use one of those. There we go. So, copper right here. Tin, of course, is on the other side of where we landed. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that does. That doesn't really help you in any way, but there's copper down here. Uh, I guess there's a couple more guys up here. And then you've got this stuff here. So you've got some of this uh, blue luminescent block too. Now that... I don't know. I dug that whole thing up. I didn't go down too far in the ground, but it was like it was 16 pieces. So let's see what we get here. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again because I'm kind of curious to see if I'm gonna get more. Uh, looks like I lost all of my food buff. Oh, I guess I never took my food buff. I guess I did just a little bit of sugar, huh? Let's get the tea too. There we go. That's nice. So far, it's not too bad, you guys. This is doing much better than the last one, for sure. And I gotta say, it's uh, as, in terms of mining, it, it just feels better. It feels like it's moving. That's one thing I noticed about this game, is they like to keep you moving. So it feels like a move in the right direction to have these better tools. Obviously, it is, but you know what I mean. Boom, all fixed up. All right, so I did do another one of those veins. I got 42. I wanted with 42 of those. I'm going to go ahead and salvage that. I'm going to salvage that. There we go. And I don't know if I need to keep some of this stuff, but the obsidian's cool. That's going to open some new stuff up for us, for sure. For sure. Skills. We got one skill point. We've uh, the points have been going into this pretty heavily at the moment. This and then the archery too. The archery is up a little bit as well. I want to start spending some more points in the archery too. That's that's going to be kind of next. I'll be spending my points into. Woohoo! Did you see that? Huh? I know. It's like I knew what I was doing. It's spooky. Oh, oh, watch it. The mushroom's going after him. Oh, no, the mushroom's coming after me now. Look here, Mr. Mushroom. What did I do to you? Where'd he go? Oh, he took off. Oh, man. Talk about messing them kitties up. They didn't like that, did they? I wonder if the firewood would work better. It's a plant, right? It shouldn't like fire at all. I thought. Give me the other one. Oh god.
Oh, that, that was gooey. That was nasty. That was some stinky stuff. Uh, it must be when it explodes, huh? <laughs> Give me your gland. Come here, you. I'm using up my poison arrows. I don't want to do that. Holy crap, look at that guy go. I wonder if I could drag him through this camp. Will they fight each other? Hey, dude, will you come down here and fight this mushroom guy? Is he still around? Where'd he go? What the heck happened to the mushroom man? <laughs> what? Where did he go? Where is Yes I Am the Mushroom Man? Yeah, he's gone. Oh my. That's that's something. Woohoo! That's nasty looking down there. Very dangerous. I need to get back to my marker, and I have no idea which way it is to get back to my marker. Where we go? We were gonna go to the Black Cauldron, right? Here we are. Let's go back to here first. It is going to be nighttime. I want to come back here and do a quick repair. Slap down a workbench out here just so we can do that, and then I'm gonna go home, drop our stuff off, and we'll resume here, and we'll actually go over there and see if we get that Black Cauldron. You know, copper's pretty plentiful around here too in this in this this place. I feel like there's gotta be a way to get up on top of these. You almost gotta put something down so you get up here and start flying around to see what's up on top of these columns here. There's gotta be something up there. <laughs> these bones are just incredible. These bones are your uh <laughs> that's your bones, your fossilized bone. Okay, check her shop. What are we what are we dealing with here? We've got a big town. Lots of folks here. Map. Okay, it looks like it's over on that side over there. Hmm. Perhaps we enter from this direction and work our way down. Perhaps we shall. <laughs> Perhaps. Rattlebleak. Well, good. We're going to visit Rattlebleak today. That's great. Let's uh, let's go hit Alt. Let's go ahead and try out our new foods. Mmm. Mmm. That bread is good. Just getting tired of eating that meat. Just a big old chunk of meat all the time. And we're going to do one of you. Um, do I, you know what? No. Let's 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 do one of these. Here we go. Oh, elixir crazed. Oh, no. So that's the one that gives me the elixir craze, huh? All right. Well, whatever. It, it'll work. Can I get up onto that roof from here? Almost. We should be okay. Oh, there's a couple of chickens down here. Or a chicken down here. He's gonna make it. Look at this one. These chickens are rock climber. Rock climbing chickens. There's like a bunch of statues out here. You see the statues? Oh god, what's going on out here? Oh, there's something fighting. Stuff was dying right over there. Oh, I hear scattering feet. Little skittery feet things going on. I think this is our entrance here, guys. Maybe. I don't think I can double jump this. No, it doesn't. It's just a little too... Well, maybe if I get up here. There we go. There's a bunch of like folks all frozen, like in time here. Statues. So cute. Okay, so some oh I see it right there. I see the I see the glow. Alright, let's go get it. It's like an army of these guys. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. I'm just walking into that, by the way. That's all that's happening. Read. The cells don't just contaminate, they absorb by breaking down natural matter and turning it into something new. They create a cycle for energy and growth. I must understand it. Experiment more with the shroud spores and learn exactly how it works. I'd rather be here than with the villagers. They drain my energy. The fluid in the black cauldron spins and spins and spins, dissolving it, slowly eating away, changing it. Once I gazed into it too long as it spun, and I thought I felt it glare back. Perhaps I've grown batty with age or lonely. Ikara. And so she's dabbling in spores. Boop. Is that any kind of a material? I'm looking, checking to see if, you know, what, what was the shop? What, what kind of shop was it? Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. Ooh. Look at all these books. Is this... Then that's going to be fiber. That's a lot of fiber. Experience scroll. Very nice. Let's go ahead and use that up. Zoing. I'll leave that alone. Oh, there's a, there's a little dude right over there. Hello. Yoink. Sorry, I'm aiming low. I'm sorry. There we go. Gotcha. Uh, okay, location reach in her shop, right? It's supposed to be her shop. I think I hear a big kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, they can stretch all the way out here, these statues. Oh, look at the look at the bones. That is amazing. Yeah, just go up there and just start banging on that. You get all the bones you need. <laughs> bones for days, I tell you. For days. Uh, location below. I feel like I need to keep checking around town here, though. I'm not so concerned about picking up their guts, because they'll lay there for a while. I am... Okay, we got enemies somewhere around here. Oh, I hear stuff skittering. Rat infestation? Uh, nothing worse than a rat infestation. Well, I hear it, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, what do we got here? Is this a well? Oh, nice. Look at this. How many do we get out of here? Okay. Eight, like we do at home. Okay, so we checked that one there, and there was nothing in there, right? We have a door here, though. Oh, my God, you lousy rats. Oh, you scared the crap out of me. Sorry if I yelled. I am so sorry if I yelled. That scared the crap out of me. Oh! Ugh. Rats. Oh, God. It's fiber. I don't want the fiber. Stone furniture and stuff in here. That's really cool. Okay. Inspirational stuff. I don't think we've seen this wall yet. There's a box up here. That's nice. Fossilized bone arrows? Are you kidding me? I'll take them totally. Uh, anything else? Did I miss anything here? I didn't even see that, by the way. I just uh, noticed that the roof was tall. I think we're good. Um, a Vuka shop. So that's got a sign on it. So maybe that's Vuka shop. Maybe that's a Vuka shop. I don't know. Bam. Ooh. Get stepped on, get kicked, and sliced. Get yourself sliced. It should be a big light and something, right? We should be able to see easily. Oh, here we go. A hunger in the dark. I've gone mad, I know it. The years of solitude have made my mind brittle. The void, the maw, inside the black cauldron, lingering, waiting. 
spinning, clouding my mind with its sweet, foul smell. It calls me, whispering. I don't understand what it says, but it knows. It knows I'm empty. It's empty, too. Hungry. We are alike. Ikara. Heh, I broke it. Okay, so it looks like we're going maybe down there. <laughs> I think so. Probably so. Probably so. No rats, huh? Hmm. Shocking. Uh, okay, so we should probably potion up and go down there and see what's underneath here because I'm bound to think that's going to be the direction we need to go. So let's go. Boom. We're going to do one of these guys here. And we're going to do this guy right here. And how's our food looking? Looks like we could do with another sugar. Ah, uh, sugar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. We could put that up there. Um, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll put these books down there. What about, how about that? We'll just put the books down there. There we go. And we should be good. 13 minutes in the shroud. Oh, did I waste did I waste my shroud stuff? Doesn't look like it. Looks like there's a hole over here we have to follow. I see the note here too. Uh, this is a nice, uh, nice potion. There we go. Read. Okay. I cried out. The void answered. The ma was famished as it called my name. That's the name of our sword. Lonely. Yearning. Like me, I had no choice. And it knew. New lore page. The shroud elixir and elixir well. Caught between teeth. Sharp as razor blades. Quest updated. Okay. Caught between teeth, sharp as razor blades, my sides cut and split apart. I slipped under its tongue, spinning, suffocating in its warmth. It holds me inside. We are the same. We are one. Why is my flesh hollow? A pit. I am a pit. Empty. Starved. I am nothingness. The absence of the void. The few, the many, the all, the abyss itself. There you have it. You're going to be something. Be the abyss, for gosh sake, right? Give me what's in here. Oh, the night trousers. Look what we found. We found the pants we were wondering about. I thought maybe I left those in the other place, but I didn't. Hello. Oh, look at this. Pew! Nice. Oh, it's going to be nighttime, though, and the crap starts moving around at night. We've got time for this, though. Since our caravan has split into two, every day feels more desperate. How I wish Queen Jasmina had stayed. Her grace and beauty would be a much-needed balm. Just yesterday, I heard Laszlo sobbing in his tent. We saw signs of survivors in a flame sanctum. It was a whole day's diversion, and for nothing. Despite the shroud encroaching on them, these fools do not feel the need to join our ranks. Let them pray to their ancients and see how long they survive. We must stay on track. Pike Mead's reach is weeks away. Commander Cyrus. This is the oh, this is a different. This is a whole different thing, man. Can I have those waters, please? I'm very thirsty. No, I want to collect. There we go. Um, is there? There's got to be a tent in here, right? There's got to be a great place to sleep. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Sorry, dude. Phew. I'm gonna have to use your bed. <laughs> Sick. Ha <laughs> ha. Little mountain climber people. Oh, this is awesome. I think one of you mentioned something about these stony paths like this, that they're a little bit more rugged, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm digging it. Oh, here we go. There's something up here, that's for sure. What do we got? We got like a little tower. I'm going to adjust myself in my seat here, so I apologize in advance for any sounds you may hear coming from my chair. Trust me, it is the chair. Peppers. 
Oh, look at this guy. And... Pew! Pew! Zoink! Right in the forehead. I love the fact they drop eggs. We got anybody else? Is it just him? Jeez, they just killed this guy at his house? That's disgusting. Oh, look at this little place right here. Oh, this is little this is quaint. I'm not sheltered here? Oh, there's a hole in the roof, huh? No, 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 no. I don't want you to get up. Zoink, zoink, and we're at the top. Nice. Okay, so there is a little place to get a rest buff if you wanted to. I think we're good, though. Uh, map. We are going into the shroud. Of course we are. Of course we are. We have shroud protection, 35. Elixir, 12, 30. Rest at 27. All right, elixir craze, 12, 29. We're in. We're on our way. Uh, we could rejuvenate uh, one of our foods, which would be the sugar. But we've only had to do the food a little bit. That's great. We're going to wind up with bugs. We always do. The bugs are just just unbelievable. Oh, there's still a bunch of these guys here all kind of frozen. Statue guys. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh my god. What is that thing? my god are you kidding me it looks what is that okay I've got to figure out how I'm gonna fight this I gotta get up someplace I ain't fighting it down on the ground I can tell you that much right now I'll shoot it from up high Let's use the uh, copper copper arrows. It's just standing there. I can't tell where the head is or where I'm supposed to be shooting it to get better points. I, get, I see I'm getting 179 each hit. It's actually, I guess, good. Let's go see what the heck that thing is. Fell monstrosity head. And there's the cal there's our cauldron. That is crazy. I had no idea that's what we we're gonna run into down here. That is weird. It it didn't do anything. That's kind of a bummer. Maybe I, yeah. Well, you know, I did fight it like a chicken too. This is awesome though. All these frozen in time creatures here. These are those scavengers or something. Uh, I need to get out of here now, too. Uh, map. How do I get out? I guess I just moved to one of the sides, huh? Craft an alchemy station. Now, where would I craft an alchemy station? My workbench? Phew. Probably not in my inventory, right? That would be weird. Maybe through Balthazar? This is his, yeah, this is his gig. He's got his exclamation hey. point. Hey, hey, buddy. I'm sorry I didn't come to you right away. Black Cauldron, Whoa. there it is. This Black Cauldron would be the perfect fit for an alchemy station. This is essential for uh, concocting an alchem alchemical base. Consider it. Yes. Craft. Alchemy Station. 
there it is. And uh, look at there, we got everything needed. Fire brick, wood planks, nails, wood logs, copper bars, and a black cauldron acquired. Now, I'd probably we can craft this black cauldron from now on. Oh, you know what I could also use? Um, and I keep talking about it. I've not done it yet. A grinding stone. I would like um, another one of those for up up north there by Emily. She needs one of those up there so we can just do the flower up there since that's where the oven is. Balthazar. I will pray for your safety. Thank you, Balthazar. Pray for my safety. Don't forget to throw your thoughts in there, too. Uh, do I have anything? Let's see. We're definitely going to place that, and let's take this out of here. Oh, now we got those night pants, too. The night trousers. Holy crap. We did so well. In just a short period of time, too. That's great. Uh, okay, so this needs to be out here, too, right? This needs to be outside. So this is kind of the idea. was Our workstations were going to be up in this area. So maybe what I do is I spin this guy around, and we put this guy kind of right here, and then he's right next to the well. Oh, you are gorgeous. Look at you. Holy crap. What do you got in you? Antiseptic. Takes wood acid and aloe. We've got two recipes in here, huh? And the alchemical base, which is pretty important. Okay, shroud spores, mycelium, shroud liquid, and water. So all the stuff. All the stuff from the shroud. Very cool. We have all that stuff. But again, it'd be nice to get these things. We've got to get them up here in Balthazar's place so that... You know, Balthazar's moved in. He's not moved in all the way. I feel bad for the guy. He's just not moved in all the way. But I will start taking this water from here and dropping it right in there. We should be able to get eight from here, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He does a couple extra motions, but I think you can upgrade those later. And water. Boom. There you go. Okay, and... Oh, I've got these amazing pants. Let's get these amazing pants put in the box. I think the only thing we're missing now is... What is it? The legs or the... It's the gauntlets. The night pants. Night chest plate. Yeah, the only thing we're missing is the night gauntlets. We're going to have to search for those. Now, oh, could I also... Can I use this head on the... Um, is that what I'm looking for here? Or is it a different boss? Oh, it is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did I? Oh. I didn't realize I fought a boss. That big of a boss. The fell monstrosity head. Okay, well, so we have that. Um, I just need some ammonia glands. A couple more. Oh, a couple more sparks. Really? I'm that? Really? Can I make those? I might be able to make those. And mint mushroom meat. Oh. All right, well, we're not making a trophy out of that head just yet. We're going to have two heads to have to get. So I've, I've got that taken care of. We can actually get to the next chunk of shroud. Um, wow. Okay, I'm going to put that head in here for safekeeping. So I don't do anything crazy with it. We'll stick it in here with the rest of them. Oh, there you go. Poor Emily. She never catches a break. Even when she sits here at the table to eat, she's, st <laughs> she's still working on something. Uh, Emily, we got you a nice grinding wheel. We hope you like it. That's uh, for making flour for the bread we're going to be consuming. <laughs> we'll have to get some more salt, too. Oh, there we go. Look at there. Got another fry bread right there. Bang. Flat bread. I'm not fry bread, but flat bread. Sweet. So, yeah, all I need is um, more flour, which we've got growing out here. <laughs> Sweet. The mate, we, we, we got a, a big boss. I did not know that that was what was going to happen there. I had no idea that I was going to be fighting that creature. But now it makes sense that, you know, I had to kill something to get the, the pieces, parts out of it. Because that's, you know, for some reason it decided to swallow it. Why did it swallow it? It did. It was not a wise idea. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. I mean, I've, I've got some wheat now, and I think we've got more uh, kind of over here ready to go again. Some straw. 
That's actually easier to pick it up here, but it's just side by side like that. Oh my god, that almost throws me off every time. I think you guys have seen me do that half a dozen times. Better than, yeah, I, I think I like the double rows better than I do triple rows because double rows pick up easier. Okay, so we definitely want to make more wheat. We've got to have that going uh, kind of like all the time. Um, so let's split that and we're going to split that again. And I'm going to put that in there. I've got 60 wheat plants to plant. And we've got 30 that we could take and utilize and turn into flour. Got the new tools. I didn't really chop up much stuff. It, uh, no trees or anything like that, but it did work. It was nice. Uh, I need to turn into wheat flour first, right? Okay, Emily, this is what we've got you going and doing now. Flour and select and off you go. I should probably have two of these up here so we could do bone meal as well. But, uh, you know, four minutes and 50 seconds and we'll have... <laughs> we'll have one flower. Wow. Yeah. There it is. It's going to take a tick. It's going to take a tick. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a super day. And I look forward to talking again next time. Did I show off my new gloves? There they are.